Hello there, my name is Peter Thompson and this DVD is one of my top tip series and it's about golf being a game of imperfections, which it is. One of my pupils, a golf professional, he once scored a gross 59 in a golf competition. And to me as a coach, that is a fantastic achievement, so I'm not sure how many coaches have taught people who scored a gross 59, but I'm very, very pleased with Mark. His name was Mark Plummer. He had a gross 59 at Truro Golf Club. Mark also won the National Assistance Championships, and I gave him a lesson the week before he won the competition, and then he went away and won the competition, he was 18 under par for four rounds and he then had a lesson the week after he won the competition. So I came into my studio, I said, well that was great, fantastic. Wonderful score, Mark, well done. I then asked him a couple of questions. First question was, how many good shots did you hit? And he thought about it and decided over the four rounds he hit no good shots, no fantastic shots. I then asked him a second question, how many bad shots did you hit? Same answer, no bad shots. So golf this a game of imperfections. Mark won the National Assistant Championship by not worrying about little imperfections. You can hit the ball off the tee, not a perfect shot, but it's on the fairway. You can hit the ball off the fairway, onto the green, not maybe a perfect shot, but it's on the green. So Mark played four rounds and in his mind no good shots, no bad shots. That to me is absolutely perfect. Contrast that to somebody else that I was teaching and our driving range is through these doors and at the end of the range is little posts and this particular man, he was quite a good golfer, he could have been very good but he wanted to hit this post at the end of the driving range with a 5 iron every single time I said to him that golf has been played now for six, seven hundred years and no one has ever yet to get a perfect golf swing and hit perfect golf shots he was determined he was going to do. I said, but, but you won't. It's never happened before. It never will happen. Because the impact time is half a millisecond. The club hits the ball. Half a millisecond later, the ball's gone. And nobody in the world can get that to work all the time. But he insisted he could do. And he's probably now stopped playing golf because he wouldn't accept from me that golf is a game of imperfections. Which it is. Great golfers truly great golfers, they accept the game for what it is. Jack Nicklaus, Lee Torino, Ben Hogan, they were working on getting their swings as good as they can to hit slightly better shots all the time and crucially hitting no bad shots. They knew golf was a game of imperfection. Jack Nicklaus in particular, he worked on the fact that he was never going to hit the ball straight, so why bother trying? That's the best golfers ever lived. He knew the ball couldn't go straight all the time. He couldn't hit the ball that perfectly, so he decided to hit the ball with a bit of a fade. Worked fantastically well. So please be playing next or practicing next. Accept the game for what it is. You'll never get it right. I've been teaching a long, long time now, and I tell all my pupils, you'll never get this right. But let's try and get it as close to being right as we possibly can. Let's try and concentrate on getting a good grip all the time, getting in the same ball position, getting your feet in the same place all the time, having the same swing for all the different clubs. Then you'll get a little bit better, but you'll never be perfect. Golf is a game of imperfections, and please accept the game for what it is. It's the best game in the world by miles, but you never get it dead right. Don't try to. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.